Welcome to the March Youth Update. Stay tuned for information on what we've been up to, premieres on the channel this month, and a profile of Wide Angle Youth Media. Five, four, three, tizzle. Man, what you do Saturday afternoon, cheer? Videos from both the Liberty Plaza and Rondo Community Outreach Library neighborhood video camps premiere on YTV this month. Youth at the NBCs worked for three weeks this winter to produce videos about topics such as football and segregation. Watch YTV to check out these new documentaries. Girls in the Media, a short documentary exploring the representation of girls by mass media, was selected to be shown at the Girls in the Director's Chair screening, part of the Walker Art Center's annual Women with Vision International Film Festival this month. We would like to congratulate the filmmakers Dee Dee Davis, Bao Yang, and Daryl Berg, who produced the video during the SPNN Youth Intern Program this past summer. For over 10 years, SPNN Youth Programs has been partnering with the YMCA Youth and Government Program, which gives teens the opportunity to deepen their understanding of civic issues by participating in an intensive four-day mock legislature experience. Youth participating in YIG TV have the opportunity to learn how to operate SPNN studios, cameras, and editing equipment, then produce thought-provoking and engaging newscasts and talk shows on a tight time schedule. SPNN's talented instructors train 30 YIG participants to produce YIG TV each day of the model assembly. The shows are then rebroadcast each evening in the hotel where YIG participants stay. We will be airing the YIG TV programs on SPNN Youth Television for the month of March on Fridays from 7 to 8 p.m. Tune in to get a glimpse of what youth and government is all about and to hear some insightful perspectives from youth on civic issues. You can find more information about YIG TV and the Youth and Government Program by going to the YIG TV blog at yigtv.blogspot.com. Now let's check out a profile of Baltimore's Wide Angle Youth Media. Look for new episodes of their TV show, Be More TV, on the channel in the coming months. Wide Angle Youth Media provides Baltimore youth with opportunities to tell stories using video technology, critical thinking, and public speaking skills. Their video workshops, public screenings of student work, and youth-run television programs aim to make media make a difference. They train over 130 youth yearly in media literacy and production and community-based distribution. Since 2005, Wide Angle has been organizing the Who Are You Youth Media Festival. The festival provides young people from across Baltimore with the opportunity to tell their own stories in their own voices. It educates the general public, policymakers, and educators about the need for youth to have creative outlets to communicate their own ideas and opinions. Through the Mentoring Video Project, Wide Angle produces a 30-minute, issue-oriented, teen-produced television show called Be More TV, which is aired on public access television. To find out more about Wide Angle Youth Media, you can visit their website at www.wideanglemedia.org. That's the youth update for this month. Remember to watch YTV Channel 16 every night at 7 p.m. to catch youth media from the Twin Cities and around the country.